Ladies and gentlemen, will you please give a warm welcome to squadron leader Mike Ling, Red Tan. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am squadron leader Mike Ling. I'm Red Tan, the ground supervisor and road manager for the Royal Air Force aerobatic team, the Red Arrows. It's my job while I'm here to talk you through the display and get your eyes and cameras pointing in the right direction so you don't miss anything this afternoon in wonderfully sunny line region. It's been a difficult year for the Red Arrows, I'm sure most of you are aware. And during our disjointed winter training period, we made the decision to buy this year's display as a formation of only seven aircraft. I hope you'll agree shortly that the display has not lost any of its dynamic uh, criteria or dynamic properties and I hope you fully enjoy what you're about to see. We do intend to return to our full complement of nine aircraft for next year's display. With the team are airborne, they landed at Bournemouth Airport. We flew the jets down from Scotland this morning and we did a display at one o'clock at Swanage. The jets have gone back to get refueled by our engineers and they're due on here in just over two and a half minutes time. And then I think you just press them on. It's been a big year for the United Kingdom, Her Majesty's Diamond Jubilee and the Olympic and Paralympic Games are monumentous occasions and we are very honoured on behalf of all members of the Royal Air Force to have been invited to take part with various bypasses at these events. In fact, on Friday evening we were very lucky to be flying nine ship formations all around the country. In fact, we flew over Edinburgh, Belfast, Cardiff, and culminated with a fly past over the Olympic Stadium at 12 minutes past eight on Friday evening. We like to re think we represent the very best of British, and we hope we did that for you at on Friday and at the Her Majesty's Diamond Jubilee. Well, the Red Arrows are a team of around 100 military personnel all who volunteer to join. While well, us pilots wear red suits. Our support sections wear blue suits. Our engineers, administrators, suppliers, photographers, drivers are all very experienced personnel who work very hard to ensure our busy summer schedule is a success. So when you go to an air show and you see someone in a blue suit with a Red Arrows logo, they're one of our support section staff. So please give them a big pat on the back and thank them for their efforts. In fact, stood next to me now, I've got Cy Watkins, SAC Cy Watkins, who's one of our engineers. Give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. So that's Simon, he's circus set, he flies with me in my aeroplane, and then when I break it, he fixes it. I'm very sorry to keep you waiting, ladies and gentlemen. It could well be that some of the showers that are inland from here are causing the issue. They've had to root around the showers. I still can't read them on the radio, so I can't give you the definite response, but that's uh, likely what's happened with both the airspace at Weymouth and the showers inland. They've flown from Bournemouth Airport, as I said before, is it worth me trying to get a Mexican wave going while we're waiting? <laughs> Let's try and get a Mexican wave going. Starting at the Cobb Arms down there. Let's see if we can get as many people as possible. I'll count you in. Do that. Three, the wave. two, one, go. Starting at the Cobb Arms. Let's go. <laughs> Working. Keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> it's good. I'll keep it going all the way. Oh. We might have to start that again, and we've got the official cameraman, Cy Watkins, here. So when I count you in, let's start it from the com arms again. Three, two, one, go! That's a very good effort. Thank you very much for that, ladies and gentlemen. Going to start with a rolling show. He's just told the rest of the formation, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I now give you a victory. Please, a big round of applause for the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team for 2012. It's the Rose.
considering the beach here is shot, shielded by the mountains, he's got pretty well to find here. That's red one squad leader Jim Turner leading the team there. He's just calling them into seven arrow formation, and the jets are closing up to be about eight feet apart as they form one big red arrow in the sky. Jim is a former Jaguar qualified weapons instructor and Jaguar display pilot. Well, as his first year leading the team, he was a Red Arrow from 2005 to 2007 and was part of the Synchro pair. Jim's latest role has been working with the Royal South Air Force's equivalent to the Red Arrows, where he was their official display team advisor. The smoke goes on, the team are forming shuttle formation. The four aircraft on the wings now drop back to be a beam Red Six's jet directly behind the leader. The jet's there, 2,500 feet of mass at 400 miles an hour and only 6 to 8 feet away from each other. Phoenix formation for an emotional part of this year's routine. When they present Phoenix, red to four on five on the outside of the formation will smoke red to remember our lost friends and colleagues, Flight Lieutenant John Egging and Flight Lieutenant Sean Cunningham, who were both tragically killed in separate accidents last year. Ladies and gentlemen, we miss them very much. This is our memorial bend for Eggman and Sean. of remembrance this year in fact the end of last month saw the long awaited unveiling of a memorial to the Royal Air Force and Commonwealth Air Crews on Bomber Command who lost their lives during World War II. <laughs> on the very bottom of the formation there with white smoke is one of our first year pilots, that's Red Four, but for James McMillan. Look see as we call him was born in the UK but moved to New Zealand at the age of ten and eventually joined the Royal New Zealand Air Force. He transferred to the Royal Air Force in 2002 and became a Hawk flying instructor and Harrier GR9 pilot. As the smoke comes on, the team are now forming our largest formation shape. The four aircraft on the wings drop back to be a big Red 7's jet at the very back of the formation. Just remember, they're still flying their references from the leader right at the very front. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Concorde. second jet from the right as we look tail on is flown by another of our first jet pilots. That's Red 2, but it's sort of Martin Pert. Perty is another former Hawk flying instructor and was the solo Hawk display pilot in 2006. He went on to fly the Harrier GR9 and flew over Afghanistan many times before joining the Red Arrows this year. The smoke's back on and the team are reforming that shuffle shape that we saw in the first roll at the start of the show. They roll out to our left 45 degrees. Come get your cameras ready for a good photo opportunity. Red 
four or five, roll back to form Eagle. before about being a big year for the United Kingdom. It's a big year for the Red Irish. We think already that the uh, yeah, Friday, Friday Fly Pass was the biggest audience the team have ever had. Also, we were very lucky to be invited to take part in Her Majesty's Diamond Jubilee celebrations. And like I said earlier, we like to think we represent the very best of British. If you're all feeling very patriotic here this afternoon in Line Regis, here's some red, white and blue. Let's see if we can have a big round of applause for Her Majesty the Queen and Great Britain. Systems Hawk T1, which was designed as an advanced jet and weapons trainer and has been in service with the Royal Air Force since 1976. White and blue. This is the Python. Yes. 
400-degree engine exhaust, which causes it to vaporise. To get the red and blue colours, we simply add a dye to the diesel. We can carry five minutes of white smoke and a minute each of red and blue in each jet. As Edith finished the pipe, we need to look directly to the front again for the synchro pair. around the rest of the formation. This is the infinity break. We are the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, the Lions. Please type Red Arrows into any search engine where you'll find our homepage with lots of extra information. And for you social media fans, we are RAF Red Arrows on Facebook and at RAF Red Arrows on Twitter. I'd like one last favour from everyone here on the beach. When I raise my right arm, I'd like you all to cheer as loud as you can and I'll pass those cheers on to Red One in the cockpit. So if you're all happy to do that, just give me a minute or so. He was so happy with your cheer there, ladies and gentlemen. They've got a little bit of fuel left, so they're just rejoining out to the front. They're going to come back and give you one last fly pass before they go back to land at Bournemouth Airport. We've got it out now. Ladies and gentlemen, from the right hand side, one last chance to see the Red Arrows here in London in 2012. Slows the aircraft down as it drags against the airflow. And we put it out and then use lots of power. We need more power to maintain the speed, which gives us really deep colours with that red and blue, which is why a lot of the fly past you see that each aircraft has their air brake out. A little bit of extra information there, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for watching and for listening. And I wish you all the very best from the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit hand for West Ham, putting in the right wing. Thank you for that great commentary. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen.